Yeah, it's like the artist can make. Yeah, everything's handmade, handcrafted. So cool. I love it. I love supporting these type of things. But then at the same time, though, you're trying to like justify a reason to buy. Right, because you want to yeah. support. Yeah. We're not haters. We're not haters. We're lovers. We're lovers. We're artists too. And artists. Yeah. We know the struggle. We know the creative process. We understand we the struggle. You. We support you. We support you. <laughs> you. Yes. And we have Julia and Julia's roommate. I forgot her name. What's her name? Aki. He's a fan of ours. Say hi. What's your name? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm like, you just gotta calm down a moment. <laughs> well, it's really nice oh meeting God. you. Oh my God, you guys are You're so funny. He just stopped dead in his back. It was so funny because like, you were walking by. <laughs> statement right here. Love yourself. Love yourself. Treat yourself. Uh, treat yourself is good too. But love yourself is amazing. That's what all of us need to be doing. Just love yourself. These pies are on a stick. Pies on this great. Stick. This is going to be the next trend. Yeah, look at that picture up there. Yeah. Of a pie on a stick. This is great. These are all You guys have pecan pie on a stick? Put them on a stick. Um, I have more of like an individualized kind of experience, like you know, you get a piece of pie. Yeah, you get your piece of pie. This is great. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what what what's going on here? So we're sampling our chimichurri sauces, which uh, we make, we're very proud of. We have, oh boy, I, I, see now that I know I'm on, I ruined it, right? This is perfect, this is raw food. We're doing good. Okay. So, so, okay, so what is chimichurri? I don't know what this is. So chimichurri is an Argentine grilling sauce, traditionally used for grilled meats. Now, however, they're used for all sorts of things. Uh, it's a completely vegan sauce made with just garlic, uh, parsley, oil, uh, oil and vinegar. And we're sampling it here with bread. Like I said, in our restaurant, we use it as a salad dressing. We use it with pasta salad. You can use it as on uh, pizza, on sandwiches, obviously. We're, having, we're sampling the regular and the spicy. All right. You did a great job. Yeah. yeah. And I actually already tried it, and it's like absolutely amazing. I'm a big fan of chimichurri. I really am. And I've gone to so many different like Argentine restaurants. This is great. This is really great. So I'm actually going to get a bottle. So, bring me up, I'll get one of these. Awesome. Yeah. One of the regular ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't handle spicy, I'm a big baby. Yes, you can. No, I cry. Are you sure to try the Yes. I, I, I'm the worst. I'm Mexican and I cannot handle spicy. Are you posting this someplace? Yeah. Where? On my YouTube. Look who made it to the party. Woo! A party with no music. <laughs> I was making my music. I said, ooh, ooh. You don't hear that music? Food. That's actual craft. I'm not gonna 
not disappointed because it's really nice to look at all these like neat little things that people have kind of put their time and effort into. Yeah, because they think of everything from like the, the, the product, obviously, the package design, and then the way they present it. So it's like a lot of this goes into because each booth has like its own little like thing to it. So I think it's like really cool. And the presentation too, everyone sets up their little booths. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like their own little booth is all presented. Like this one right here. I think they're selling some sort of bread because I see a bunch of uh, grains on the wall. And I think that's so cute. It's very subtle, but it paints the picture. And then they have a TV playing, uh, their video of the product. I think that's great. It takes so much time to the presentation of their product. It's really cool. Yeah, they're proud. They're really proud. And I think this is awesome. I think I keep saying that I think this is awesome because I think this is awesome. Which it is. It is awesome. It is awesome. Josh, you're awesome. Thanks. You're awesome, too. We can only be nice on this channel, but JK Party, we got to fight. Yeah, we got to get you know, shit to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on the market for some candles and these beautiful women here just told me about their candles and I could pick wait what was what was this again their recycled recycled soy and wine bottle candles so everything looks super unique and I absolutely love that so it's all this side right that I could pick this is all the flavor that you like okay current and fig oh these are so nice uh I'll just pick that one's cool I'll go with that with that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. All right, I'll wrap it up. Thank you. You're Name of their company. Oh, look at that. This is Sandalwood. Uh, All right, so if you guys owned a booth here, right? Yeah. What would be your attention grabber? So people are walking by your booth, but there's no one at your booth. What do you do to get people to your booth? Show me. We have an exotic dancer in front of our booth. Name Josh. No, no, it's only go. you two. It's only you two. What's your... Exactly, we have an exotic dancer. All right, go, Josh. Moves. <laughs> and that's how you get people to your booth? Yeah, they'll just be like, at first, they'll, they'll question why we're dancing, and they're just like, hey, you know what? I can dig that. So they'll come to our, our booth. Our product is silly yes. string, because, you know, we're being silly. And like, we're just string. like... Who's <laughs> Josh and Sean, silly string. The sillies. You can't miss the part. I'm like silly screen, but you can't hear the part. Yeah. Oh, Next you. Next product on the market right there. JS yeah. silly string. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, dab it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I hit you in the arm. Keep dumb contact, we're here. One thing I find amazing about our entire crew is that they're so used to being on camera that at a moment's notice, it doesn't matter what we're talking about, they're gonna make the video fucking good. So if I told them, start dancing like a monkey, go, start dancing like a monkey. You see? <laughs> We do it for you guys. For you guys. We do it for the two. We do it for the two. Do it for the mind. 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 Yeah, keep going, Josh. Do it for the mind. 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 Wow. Josh was just interrupted, or just interrupted Sean's vlog for a picture. Look. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. The shirt, the shirt though. Whoa. How much is it for the kitty? Uh, no. Oh, that's not. <laughs> but it's a kitty for you. If you want it to be a kitty, it's a kitty. He just changed it, just for you. Now, most of these are for endangered animals. Oh. Cool. So they actually give back to nonprofits that protect them, yeah. and they're all filled with non-recycled uh, plastic water bottles that were melted down and turned into. Mm. Oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this one. Thank you. I love this guy. You should get it for the household. I know. You got you got a white one and you got a. And he says that these all go to a great cause. So if I buy one of these, it's in support of endangered species. And he's, so this guy only has one tooth, but this guy has a mouthful. I think that's a cub, that's why. 
if they want to buy more. They can find us, at, well, in Los Angeles at the Wu uh, Souvenir Shop at downtown LA, at uh, Black and White Market on Sawtell, the Ritz Carlton Hotel Boutiques, uh, a bunch of museum shops, cool. and our store at Fisherman's Village. Awesome. Uh, in Marina Del Rey. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, so we had to stuff him in a bag right now. We gotta get a group shot. Can we get a group shot from you guys? Look at this. But it looks like this. But it's like the adult size of this. So, an adventure right now. This is what we're gonna do. We are gonna make some leather crafted goods. I think I'm gonna make a card holder.
done. What? Wow. <laughs> Are you going to use it now? Of course. That looks good, Jim. Thanks. Good job. Have you sewn before? Yes, I've sewn before. But this is completely different than any other sewing that I've ever done. Really? Like ever. Yeah, they use two needles. It's totally different. They use two needles? Yeah. yeah. That's what it's about. Yeah, oh, so it. it doesn't matter if you've sewn before, this is a brand new style. Wow. And since you already put in the little holes, it's yeah. easy to follow. So it's a really chill template. Yeah, yo, your material is pretty good. This is really hard. Oh, you're done. I'm done, buddy. Yeah. Done. I'm almost done. Oh, yours is nice. How do I start the? So I'm done. Um, changed into some PJs. And not even five minutes from being here, Paw Bear calls me that he needs my help. Freaking ridiculous. Look at this freaking schmuck. Look at that guy. He keeps crying. Look at this guy. Two taxing. So he got one for us. I want for barbell, he said. And he wanted to bring the second one, and I said, why are you bringing the second one if we're gonna take it to barbell? So I told him just to leave it in the truck and then leave the truck in the garage, and then once we're ready to go, then we're ready to go. But then he says, can you just come and still help me? Can you come to the back and help me? So guess where I'm going? In the freaking rain to help the freaking baby. In this freaking rain. It's not really raining, it's sprinkling. I like to complain a lot if you haven't noticed. I'm pretty annoying. But it's raining right now. Quite a bit. I don't know why he wants me to come back here. I have a hoodie on. I guess that's all I need. Let's see. I'm gonna stand in the garage. There's the big baby right now. He calls this truck a taco. Short for Tacoma. Look at my glasses, I have all these wet spots on them. Here comes Le Taco. Right, big baby, what do you need help with? You bring it down, move off there. Then what do you need help with? You bring it down, move off there. But you already brought it down. I don't get what you need help with. I'll show you. I'll, put, I'll tell you exactly where to put your hands. <sighs> Fine. Are you gonna move this? No. Right here. You just said no. Right there. You're getting wet. Put your hand right here. Put your hand right here. Two, three, pull it out. What the fuck? You can do this yourself. No, I can't. One, two. Now, where are we going? What are we doing? Are we setting it down? Or are we pull out some more. One, two, three. Pull it out. Ooh. Okay, now let's set it down. One, two, three, set it down. I can't, I can't, I can't. There. You can do this all by yourself. I can't. And then we're gonna shake it all the way over there. You can do this let's by go. yourself. Can you do it by yourself, please? Come on, I'm hungry. 
Why just watch me then? Duh! I don't know why I have to walk out here in the rain. Is that it? That's it? Yeah. Why did you call me out here? Close the sucker, dude. What? You're a sucker. I told you. I Fine, I'm running home. You love me that much? Doesn't make sense. Sucker. Right, I'm going back home. Oh, that's where Briggy and Fonny, that's where they jump in to our window. Not the most cleanest way. But the most practical for our life and our budget. So I'm not tripping. What are you up to? Walk that. What are you doing? What are you up to? Finally we get to eat. Wait, I just I just turned it on to record. I missed you. I miss you too. What are you doing? I do. Eat something and brush my eyes. Thomas? A little bit. What did you get? Beep. Cool, that's you. Hmm? Try something different. Let's see what it tastes like. Gee, you didn't even get mine out, you big jerk. No, I was joking. You. So you weren't, you already had your fork full. Big jerk. Selfish jerk. No. The heck, why is this filling? Big bozo jerk. Can't open this. Can we go for it? Magic cut. Oh, anywhere. Really? Just open it from anywhere. Oh. Pop hair? Yeah. What'd you do today? Since I didn't see you all morning. I went to the gym. That kind of messed up. Because uh, today was three sets of 15, but we did four sets of 15 on almost everything. And then how, did you not, how did you not catch that? I don't know, I think we just thought it was four sets, so we started going ham and then... We it, was, like, it wasn't written anywhere? It was, but then we're like, fuck, why are we so tired today? And then we realized, oh shit, we did extra work like crazy. Who's we? You and Evan? Me, Evan, Nadim, and Schaefer. Nice. Schaefer wants to come on the weekends to join us. Cool. Bodybuilding. And then afterwards I recorded the... The, um, what is it called? The workout video. And then a bunch of uh, fitness influencers came by. Who? Um, I don't really know their names, but Nadim pointed them out, so I just introduced myself to them. Cool. Uh, Cause I guess there's like uh, some sort of fit expo happening right now. There is. Mm-hmm. Here? Mm-hmm. How come we don't know about it? Could be a small one. And um, so I said hi to all of them. I came home, took a shower, uh, emptied all the guns out of the original gun safe and then um brought that out over here i know i saw them in the room it looks so scary in there they're like all scattered on the floor and then uh i went to go get the other two gun safes hmm. what did you do so i oh. went to the you're gonna throw away those onions and may have them funny stop He's talking about these. I don't like these onions. There's too many. You don't like onions? Mom, but you're Mexican. We smell like onions. We don't eat onions. You do. <laughs> Mexicans smell like onions like crazy. Especially in the onions. 
Uh, I went to the artisanal convention thingamabobber today Is that what with it's Sean, Julia, Tiff, Casey, uh, Julia's roommate. And then we just saw a bunch of like different like um, just different people that make different things. So there was people that uh, did blacksmith stuff like ironworks. Uh, they did cookies and candles, uh, jewelry, beef jerky. Oh, juice. I forgot. I wanted you to buy me something. What? A lamp that's made out of pipes. They didn't have anything like that. Didn't have that this time? Mm -mm. Oh, okay, cool. Unless I didn't see it in the aisles. You had but I bought you something very cuny. What? So, they already know. But it's this um, company that makes plush toys or mm -hmm. plush animals. Mm -hmm. But they all are modeled after uh, endangered species. What? And then when you buy one of those plushes, a portion of of uh, of the price yeah. goes to that foundation for oh, that cool. particular animal. Did you get a grizzly bear? How did you know? Because grizzly bears are endangered. I don't think exactly what I got. You want to see it? I love grizzlies. You know there's only like 700 of them in the United States? How sad is that? I like how we're having this conversation as we're eating. So first of all, you guys already saw this, but I got a candle. And this candle has no GMO, made out of soy. And they recycle the jar that they put in. They're all made from old champagne and wine bottles. Oh, wow. Mainly wine. But can you smell it already? That's very eco-friendly. Mmm. Smells like a grandma's house. Oh, I promise? Is it bad? Is it a bad no, smell? No. This, no, this is a trendy grandma then. Because it smells great. What's this the one's, scent? Um, it's currant and fig. Oh. Smell it. Did you see it? Mm. The wine? Oh, yeah. It's made from a Sauvignon Blanc wine bottle. So I got that so that our room could smell like less fart. Okay, cool. And then they had some chimichurri. What? So I bought some. Just because the guy was really cool and he was like all about like supporting everyone and he wanted to hook it up. And I'm like, you know what? You're a nice guy. So I got his chimichurri. And he explained it to everyone. So if you want to know what chimichurri is. I know um, what chimichurri is. Oh, well then uh, you're awesome. But here's the main attraction. Can you pull this bag off? All right, ready? Yeah. Da, 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 da. A grizzly bear. So this. Oh, isn't I it love soft? <laughs> so this one, I these, love him. these things were all modeled okay. after. So it's this company started when uh, the guy's son, little son, he's just started drawing animals. So then he made one plush toy out of that little animal, and it looks ridiculous. It looks like the the paintings or the drawings that you guys did. And then he kept that style. And he kept doing it with other animals. Damn, this guy's soft. Isn't he soft? I love this guy it. goes for a hundred bucks, what? but he hooked it up because all of us bought something and I mean he just liked this so it was 60 bucks. I love him. I know. A grizzly bear. His hands moved too like, ah. Oh, that's freaking awesome. I know, he's not like you're boring. Like look at his arms. <laughs> I like him. He's not like you're boring typical <laughs> Look at Fawn Fawn's looking at him. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I did today. That's oh, awesome. and... And I almost forgot. I made a, a card holder. I was sending you pictures, Papa, but I here's the final product. Oh my God, I wish you guys could see what's going on in this backpack right now, it's a mess. <laughs> I threw it in here, where did it go? Oh, no. What the heck? Oh, there's too much junk in here. Oh, this. I made it all from scratch, minus the leather, obviously. That's pretty awesome. So you made that cut too? Yes, I did everything. Wow. I know, I sewed it, I glued it, I did everything. I punched the holes, I traced the line to do that. That's pretty sick. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I did. I made a leather knife case before. 
knife case, mm -hmm. like kitchen knife. Oh, like a pocket knife. It had a button on it. Oh, to close it? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. How did you learn? I made them Boy Scouts. So one of my merit badges was like leather, leather crafting or something. It's actually pretty fun. Yeah? Um, I, I, It was like 10 bucks to do it. And then you can pick from three different things. But people were getting down. They were making like crazy wallets, pretty eccentric things. Wow. Yeah, I'm like, whoa, you guys got really elaborate with this. Like my basic ass just did whatever was there. I think if you were there, you would have had a lot of fun. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, so just finished having some food and now it's ultimate cleanup time. Look at all this. So we're Bart's cleaning up his guns. I'm gonna do some laundromat washing for these big ass Blankets, these Mexican blankets that don't fit in my washer. Clothes, that is gone. That's where his guns used to be. Uh, uh, Look at all this over uh, here. Bunch of gun boxes, bunch of dogs, and a deem. More crap. Look at all this gun gear stuff that Bart has. Those are more lockers. Whoa! This room looks great. Yeah. Holy moly. Wow. So we're thinking of converting this room into like meeting office study type of area. And then this area over here, this is the ring light I got. Um, we're thinking of turning into more of like a playroom uh, right now we're using it for apparel, but it has a really cool skylight up here. So it's like a really nice, chill area. So I think we're just going to swap things and make the other side of this wall. The study, this side, more of a kick it. And that, and that over there is just going to stay the living room. I don't know. What the hell? Why do you keep flashing, dude? <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't look pretty here now. I thought it was dirty before. Damn, it is dirty now. But it's gonna look really nice. I'm gonna be getting some late dinner with the bay and the baby. From bay, the bay? From bay? No, I, I couldn't. You are, uh, huh? I'll get some. I couldn't do it. So we're having some tongue. And then this is some beef brisket. Now it's mixed. I don't know what's what anymore. And then Pa Bear got uh, kimchi fried rice. And they're like, it's amazing here. It's one of their specialties at Kogi King. Oh, it's so good. They get kimchi, seaweed, uh, a little bit of onions, some sesame oil, sesame oil, and a scrambled egg. And they shake it in this metal container. And then what's that, that soup over there? This is the soybean soup. It's one of my favorite things ever to get at a Korean restaurant. Yes, would you like to order some more? Uh, more brisket and pork. Thanks. It's like a spicy miso soup almost. Please. Thanks. Got like little jalapenos, cucumbers, onions, and tofu. And it's a very heartwarming, like soul food type of dish. And then uh, what I like to do is put all rice in there later and turn it into a porridge. Wait, are you going to share with people or is that just for you? No one uh, wanted any when I asked them. Changing of the grill. Now we got a new grill. Neds, is there a special way you like to eat your food? <laughs> no. <laughs> nice. Well, you did switch it off. You're usually a Sprite drinker, which is mine. But today you're having Coke. What's up with that? Like a boss? You get what you want. I feel like there's nothing, nothing different about just switching up the soda. I don't know. I feel like every cuisine has its specific I beverage. It the world when you switch yeah. The I agree. It's like the difference between like eating red wine with red meat and the white wine with white meat. That's true. I agree. Sprite is too, it's too light. Coke In flavor? Like, yeah. Oh. Coke actually like cleans the palate for me. Um, but you always get Sprite. Huh? But you always get Sprite when you... Not huh? Not I, I don't know then. 
I, don't, I know Lou gets spray. I, I mean, I can't, I can't, I don't pay attention that much. I used to treat my sodas like limes when I get McDonald's. If I get fish fillet, I always get a Sprite, a white wine, I think it's a fish. <gasps> You're so ghetto! I'm serious! I know, but it's so funny. And then make double with the uh, Coke. What is that? It's like bougie ghetto. That's what you are. I know it, manners. It's like you, what? That has mom, nothing to do with manners. If you're talking about manners coming from your mom, she's the worst person to reference. She farts and burps in the middle of her sentences when she's... Yes! So what kind of manners are you talking about? McDonald's manners? Oh, he has manners. He says, excuse me, can I fart? Because he knows like, he's going to get an earful for me. If he just does it? Or? Yeah, hell yeah. That's disgusting. Well, anyway, I want to eat now. I haven't eaten yet. I'm about to grub. Go in. And Bart always has to, before I even, before I go, Bart always has to get his cup of Coke, or just cup full of ice. Even in Japan, he was like, we could barely speak English, and he still had to find a way to tell the person, can I have a cup full of ice? I love ice. Did you know that, Nets? Even in Japan, when nobody could speak Japanese, and we were already like having the hardest time communicating with them, but he still had to find a way to say ice, 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 uh, How would you say top, it? top, ice, top. How would you say it? Then would they understand? Sometimes well, I'll just make them bring me like four cups of ice that's this much, and I stack it all the way. Baby, what happened? You look defeated as fuck right now. What do you mean defeated? Like, you... You thought you were gonna eat something and eat a lot of it, and like, the food won. Like, you can't eat anything else. I always know I'm not gonna eat a lot if I didn't eat a lot that day. When my stomach starts shrinking, I was actually full from my first batch of meat, but then I was just like, I can't be a little bitch, I gotta just keep eating. So when he kept giving me more food, I just kept stuffing it in. So I stretched it out a little bit, but I'm still pretty full. Damn. What did you eat today then? Just the food I brought you? Yeah, all I had was a Shimoya, and then all day I, I didn't eat anything. Oh no. It's not good. I'm in the same boat. I didn't eat that much either. Yeah, but it's not, I gotta hit my macros though. My macros are still, I gotta hit 3,300 calories. I for sure didn't hit that. So if I don't hit it, if I don't hit my proteins, as I'm losing weight, I'm probably gonna lose muscle. For sure you're losing muscle. It's not good. Which is the worst, because then you're flabby. And you're skinny fat. Yeah. I hate that. That's how I am right now. If, Look. if my stomach, uh, goes down, by the time I get home, I'm probably down in protein shape. I don't want to lose my muscle. Dude, I lost all my muscle. You should see me right now. I look disgusting. He <laughs> doesn't have to agree. You're the only one that would know. You would. You have to say, no, I'm all fair. You look perfect. Well, I saw you max out the other time, and you, you dumped 215. Dude, I know. I know. I dumped 215. Why are you I'm a fucking loser. I think I can overhead press more than you can squat right now. Really? How much can you overhead press? I think I can do 225 to 3. Fuck, I'm fucking. I'm <laughs> just gonna quit. No, you just gotta train. I'm just gonna be a fucking. I'm gonna you don't fucking train quit. consistently, you don't eat consistently, you just gotta train and eat consistently. That's it. How many times a week do you go to the gym? <laughs> Uh, at least four. No, what do you mean at least four? So you're telling me there's times you go five, six, seven? <laughs> at least three. <laughs> no, so some of the... But at least two. At least two, 100% at least two. But then those two aren't full sessions. So then they'll cut out early because of this, because of that. Hey, I'm a busy woman, all right? That's what? Let's just go with at least one, to be safe. At least one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, what? What is that? Crazy! What? Whoa! 
I know what happened. Why don't you just make it? Oh, I ate the whole kimchi rice. Right? Damn, we're done. I only had like one plate full of meat. Oh, two, 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 two. I think that was about how many ounces would you say? Like six ounces of meat? For you? Yeah. I think you ate like two or three ounces. Really? You barely ate anything. I'm pathetic. What were you talking about right now? You started clapping. I caught you mid clap. What are you talking about? Uh, I was saying that um, uh, every time I fart, it always makes noise, and I can always hear the noise being made. So like my butt hole, number one, is really tight, and then also my butt cheeks are also really tight. They, so, they, they are. I've tried penetrating it with my finger, and I can't do it. Uh, you should be proud. So you know how like when you get a balloon and it I feel like you tear your shit. Sometimes I fart like Nadine, because I'm so fat right now. Like I fart, right? And it goes in, and Nadine says this, and it either goes out, or it goes back in. <laughs> Sometimes I'll feel like that, and I'll feel it travel like all the way up, and then down. <laughs> you know how like, when you go swimming, oh, you have an air bubble? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Place. I feel it travel up my butt, up, down, up, and then finally go. This is the butthole. So you fart, it goes here. But sometimes it doesn't just go out this way, it goes up. Yeah. It comes up the butt. <laughs> this fucking conversation. Why are we having this conversation? I don't fart. I don't fart? <laughs> What? what the hell are you doing? I found a hole in my shorts. Here's a chicken right here. <laughs> the lady walked over. Right. Disgusting. I saw her dance with the devil. And he was wearing my suit. Black and white Jordan Levin. And she was looking for me. No, 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 I didn't know. I thought it'd be more I than... I fucking let them come in my mouth and I'll spit it back on their dick. Is that hot? 